Hi everyone, Aiden here at the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Thule Arcos enclosed storage box and seeing how it fits on the back of our 2022 Ford Maverick. Now this is going to be a hitch mounted carrier and if you're familiar with rooftop boxes this may look pretty similar. The construction is going to be a hard shell plastic much similar to a rooftop box but the benefit of this is that it's going to be easier to reach by installing it in the hitch and you're going to get the same benefits of that roof storage where it's enclosed from the elements and lockable. Now the other benefit is going to be the added height. We're not adding any height to our vehicle so low clearance situations like a parking garage you're not going to have to worry about it as much. One thing you do have to think about though is that it still does add length to your vehicle. We'll touch on that a bit later but let's talk about the carrier a bit more. You're going to get 14 cubic feet of storage space here and like I did mention, it's lockable. So I'll pull out my key, put that into the lock, unlock it, and pinch this lever here to open the lid. That's gonna be our storage space inside. Probably a little hard to see in the bright summer sun, but you get a good amount of space in here. Enough for maybe some small suitcases, plenty for some camping gear, maybe some stuff for the beach, things like that. So if you've got extra stuff that you want to keep in here and you maybe don't have the space in your bed, you just need a little bit of extra space or you've got stuff that you want to keep separate from the stuff in your bed. Maybe we've got all our luggage in the bed under a tonneau cover and we want some space to put all of our camping gear. Some of the stuff that's a bit messier. We can keep it separated like that. Now, one thing about this is that the latch mechanism isn't great to put a lot of pressure on it. So I find it's easiest to just grab the top lid and the bottom section and just push them together. You'll hear a small click for all three of the latch locations, one in the center and two on the sides. And once it's properly latched, you'll see it won't open itself back up again. And it allows me to remove the key. If it's not properly latched, then I can't turn and remove the key. Now with this, you might notice there's a little bit of flex and that's really just from the box itself being this kind of flexible plastic material. It's still pretty rigid, but that's where the movement's coming from. The anti-rattle device and the hitch does a good job at keeping that shake and play down. And probably notice that we've got lights in the back, which is great because if you've got four pole wiring on your Maverick, it'll plug right in and give us things like turn signals. I'll run up to the front and turn the hazards on so you can see that. And we can get a good idea at what that looks like. I think the lights are plenty bright. So if we're driving down the road at night or even just need some extra visibility to let drivers know what we're doing when we're changing lanes or hitting our brakes, we can. Because this box does partially block those things. The other thing it blocks is our license plate but we do get a license plate bracket on the outside with a light to shine down on it at night, keeping that fully visible. So if you're driving through a state where it has to be visible, it can't be obstructed by anything in the hitch, you don't have to worry about it. Now for some measurements, we're gonna get our distance that we add to the back, going from the bumper to the furthest point out, which is gonna be sitting right around 41 inches. Our ground clearance is gonna be 22 inches which I think should be great for most situations. And the closest point to our vehicle is probably at the bumper here, where we've got six and a half inches of space. Plenty of room to get your hand in here. Tighten down that tool-free anti-rattle knob or lock it up when you're not around. The one thing you don't have space for though is gonna be the tailgate. Whether you've got that in the raised position or fully lowered, it's just not gonna hit, or it's not going to clear, it's going to hit. Now, one thing you could do to remedy that is just not go with the Arcos at all. That's the one downside here is that it's totally fixed. You can't move it, you can't tilt it, you can't swing it away. So where it sits is where it's gonna sit all the time. One thing I'd recommend looking into is the Yakima Exosystem. That's gonna work with your two inch hitches and it's gonna be a very similar option. You can get that with an enclosed cargo box, but it's going to mount onto a swing away arm where we can just swing it away a full 90 degrees and have room to lower our tailgate. The other nice thing about the exosystem is that you've got expandability, so you can add a second shelf and a second box, or swap the box out entirely for other accessories like a bike rack, ski carrier, camp kitchen, really a whole lot of options there. So if you're adventuring and changing things that you're doing based on the season, you can do that. And I think it's gonna work a little better with the Maverick. But if you like the integrated taillights, 
and you just need a little bit of extra storage space, then I think the Arcos can fit the bill. This has just been our quick look at it on our 2022 Ford Maverick. Thanks for watching.